Great, so welcome back. And this is question 197. It's called rising temperature. And here we're given a weather table. And with this weather table, we have three columns. We have a primary key, which is the ID, the date that this temperature is recorded or, you know, like for the weather, and then the value for the temperature itself. So essentially all that we want to do is look at this table and here's an example and we want to output all of the IDs where the, uh, that ID's temperature is higher than the temperature of the previous day. And so you, one mistake that I was making, and you kind of see from my submissions here, is I kept getting wrong answers because I was confused by the question, is that you don't want to be taking into account just the ID itself. You want to be looking at these record dates and so that you want to only output it if the you know the previous day's ID is just one day prior and so you really want to be looking at these record dates that okay we're comparing only the day prior to it so when we go ahead and do that so what we're going to do is we're going to make use of a CTE and this is going to use two lag functions so um, if you don't know what that is I'll explain it in a second and so we're going to select the ID as well as the record date and the temperature. And so then what we're going to make use of is two different lag functions. And so what these are is that you can essentially use them to look at the row prior to it and you can specify a particular order that you want to order them by, but it's going to allow us to compare the values between the current temperature and the temperature before it. So the reason why we want two of them is we're not just going to want the uh, prior temperature, but we're also going to grab the date prior to it. So we'll just name these um, previous record date and previous temperature. And so in this case, we're going to want to lag this column here, the temperature column, and we're just going to lag by one day, or not one day, by one row. So we're going to look one row above. And so next, we're going to get the record date and do the exact same thing by looking one row above it, or above the current temperature. And so why don't we just name these, you know, current temperature. Oh, and I'll just change this to a previous temp. Oh. Great, and so now what we're going to do is pull this from our weather table. And then in our outer query, we're going to select just the ID, and this is coming from that CTE, and we want to pull this where, and so this is kind of what I was talking about before where you really want to double check, and this is kind of a, a check here that we're making where we're verifying that we're only comparing the day prior to it, and so what we want to do is grab our current record date and make sure that the difference between these two dates is just one day. And so we can use the date diff function and this returns the number of days difference between these two dates that we're passing. So if we grab the previous record date, we want this to equal one. So there's one day of difference. And it's also important to put in this order where you put, you know, the the higher number first and then the lower number second. And so that way, if you do it the other way around where you put the lower number than the higher number, it'll return like a negative one or a negative number. So make sure you're doing the current date and then the previous date. And so next, the only other check that we want to do is just to verify that the current temperature is higher than the previous temperature. So we do current temp, we want to make sure it's higher than the previous time.
Great, and so that should be everything. We just run that. Oh, just take a peek here. As previous temp, uh, we just need a, an extra column. Oh, oh yeah, so the, the other thing is we want to do this and since we're using a, a Windows function here, we need to provide this over function. And so this is, you know, noting that it's, we're making use of this Windows function. And so we want to do this in order by the record date. So we grab the record date. And so this is just a way so that we can, you know, describe what order that we want to be comparing these in. And so we're going to do it by, you know, the, the oldest to the most recent date. Great, so if we run that again, accepted, and that should be good. Awesome, so sorry about the little bit of a mix up there, but you know, I, I think this is a good practice question, especially for getting used to you know, CTEs and these um, Windows functions. So um, yeah, I, I hope that helped, and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks.